Hi everyone and welcome back to the Gaming Hive. Today I have another Elden Ring video for you. Today we're going to have a walkthrough of the Karian Study Hall and access to the Divine Tower of Lyernia. Okay. Okay, first thing you want to do is go behind this pillar thing here and there will be a lift. Just here, so we'll take that up. And this first part here, before you flip it, is you've just got to work your way through it, defeat the the enemies, uh, and the main one, defeat that. There's a, a talisman right at the top as well, so we're going to work our way through and deal with all of this, and then I'll show you how to uh, flip it in half and then get to the divine tower. So you have to deal with this one. He, this one's <laughs> the pain in the arse farm, just flies around and teleports everywhere. You can kind of run past all the rest of them. There's no need to deal with them, to be honest. But this one up here is the one who just keep teleporting everywhere. I'm just being a pain in the ass, to be honest. Okay, now that one's dealt with. There is a path behind, a lift behind this chair here. Let's get rid of these because they will just follow me. Grab that. Nice. Nice little stuff. Right, there is a lift back here. We need to take that. So take this upstairs. <coughs> Excuse me. And once you get up here, you need to take a left. Follow the path all the way around, and then we will come across a ladder. Deal with these. They're pain they are, to be honest. Yeah, so go up the ladder. And be careful when you're up here because. Yeah, you fool, you're dead. And uh, I have done it a couple of times before. So just be careful. Then up the other ladder was across there. And then uh, you need to, yeah, be careful with these rats as well. Because once you, depending on what uh, class you are, my class kind of throws myself forward when I attack. So it's, that's hard. I don't want to fall off. You want to go over there and collect that talisman. Deal this right here. See it once we grab that. Nice little talisman. And as you see, once you've grabbed that, you literally just there's nothing to do up here, so you want to get yourself down. And uh, this is where we've come in, and you need to go to this pillar thing here, and you'll see you're missing something to proceed any further. You need to go to night sacred ground here on the map and just run straight all the way to the end. To uh, be able to start this quest line, you need to speak to Rani first. Um, so make sure you've spoken to her. But where we're at right now in the video, this is where you need to be. You need to get here because you need to get something to take back to Rani. And she will give you an item that will flip the tower around so you can proceed through it. So this is where we need to get to. And what the item we need is in here. So we'll grab that. Oh yeah, be careful for this uh, troll thing. It just appeared out of nowhere. Deal with him. Nice and easy. Nothing too difficult. Right, grab that item from here. Lovely, we've got that. Got that. And now we need to take everything we've got to Rani. Back at her tower. And she will give some dialogue. Not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. 
Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path, only I may tread. Okay, we'll make sure you use all of her dialogue up. But before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. Boom, and that's what we're after. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. So that's it. And now we go back here to where he was earlier. And now this will happen. This is pretty cool, to be honest. Flips the whole building upside down. Now we proceed through the way we went through the first time, so behind this pillar thing. So yeah, you want to go behind here again. Make sure you get your light on. And it's going to be the same kind of procedure before. Okay, so that you've got to jump here. Yeah, pretty easy. But it did take me a while to figure that out, to be fair. And there is just painting us enemies through here, hands. But you will have that one from earlier reappear and we'll be shooting arrows at you constantly. Look at that, looks pretty cool. We're going upside down. So yeah, you want to go right when you uh, when you get here. I thought it was left, but it is right. So work your way all the way around and you're going to have to drop down where that hand is. And you can see enemies down there as well, the one who's just appeared. So you need to take this one out again, as like before. It's a bit of a pain, but let's get her done. And then you get that. Nice. And if you go down this way here, drop down here. Go along this little ledge. And you can get that helmet as well. Nice little mask. And then go back the way we came. Jump back up here. And you're going to want to jump back down on the left side on this little ledge where you can see the enemies. This is the direction you want to go. Try not to fall off here because you will just get you will just die, so and you need to waste some time. Okay, then you wanna go down this little ramp here. Deal with these enemies. Okay, and then once you get to here, you wanna keep going around. And you're going to want to go all the way to the end and you want to drop down just make sure you're dropping onto something and not dropping onto nothing there's a little ledge there drop onto that and then if you keep going around you just want to land on uh, you want to get to a spot where you can land on these wooden beams again obviously it's different you're upside down this time okay and then once you're here you just want to keep going across and you want to go and jump on that middle uh, there's a ladder there you can go down and grab that but you do want to end up on that, that uh, square thing you can see there it's not kind of squarish and then you want to jump onto this activate that to go down and 
as I say, it's not that hard. It's just working everything out, how to get there, what you need to get for Rani, and all of that. It is a bit of a pain. Okay, and then you want to go to the upside down door and go through there. Let's see, open this big door. Okay, then once you're all through this door, there is a sort of grace there. We want to activate that, obviously. And once you're going across this bridge, there is going to be a boss who appears. You need to defeat them. It's not too difficult to defeat, but there you go. About halfway across, you will come across this big fella. You need to defeat him. Then once he's gone, you'll get uh, all his armor set as well. So that's pretty cool. And then you want to get jump on your mount and go all the way to the end. It's a big tower there. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so he got slightly distracted there. Anyway, to the door at the end. Once you get here, open this, and now we're at the Divine Tower of Leonia. And then once we get to the top of this, we'll be able to collect the other item. Take the lift all the way to the top. I'm pretty sure there's a sort of grace up here as well. So we want to activate that. There it is. Take these stairs. Follow them all the way around. And there we go. And then we're going to go and take, take these. Boom. And now we've got them. Nice little talismans. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.